everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. First, I will do my thankful challenge. Um, Simple Life Reclaimed and Kimber Keto Life have both started a thankful challenge. And I'm thankful that I get to post the Shed Wars video today. So, rather than keeping you waiting, we're just going to go right there. So, enjoy and please be kind. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the teams. You all did great. Well, let's go. All right. Come on. I'm ready. Let's go. Welcome, gardening fans, to Shed Wars 1 2020. Four teams, Team Peacemaker, Team Over the Pond, Team Woodcutter, and Team Will It Grow, come together to teach the world how to grow again and compete for over a thousand packets of heirloom seeds. So come with us on our journey. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's good to be back on the homestead. I want to say thank you to all the Shed Warriors. For all of you that participated in Shed Wars, thank you. It has been a lot of fun. Those of you that participated in the first annual Shed Wars, if you never participate again, I get it. But I want to say thank you because you will always be the inaugural class of Shed Warriors. You will always be the first group. We will always be the first group that took on Shed Wars. And uh, when, when nobody really knew what was going on with it, it was just kind of an idea that came together. John Will It Grow, and Shed Wars has come to an end, and it's been one heck of a year. Hi, and I started watching channels that address how to live more economically, and I picked up a few ideas from them. I find them very informative, and especially when you're retired, you need to live or learn to live as uh, frugal as possible. And I think I had some good ideas to begin with, but I was able to add to my ideas and I learned to live more frugal than what I was. Since we're expecting a frost next week, uh, we've already moved, you know, the the outdoor plants that aren't really frost hardy all together. So it'll be a lot easier to cover them up whenever it's time. But I just want to show you the container garden before everything gets all covered up, and then you're like, uh, okay, let's remove the shroud. There's so many people on all the teams that I don't even know is in shed wars. There's so many. I want to thank you. Y'all have a great day. Cheers, y'all. So, I hope you can see this. It's still a mighty pepper. So guys, if you are still here, <laughs> I've just almost had a disaster. I put them peppers down for two minutes and the wife had chopped them and made a meal out of them. And I had to go and dig <laughs> in compost to get my pepper seeds back. <laughs> Should have put a sticker on it. And it's always nice to be nice. So I guess you're ready for the team total. Think so. <laughs> Don't give it away. I won't. First, and it'll be up to the judges to decide. May the best team win. Everyone has been waiting for the team totals to see who won the Shed Wars 2020. Well, let's see. Team Over the Pond had three people and they collected a thousand pounds so that gave them 33.33 pounds per person. Team Woodcutter had 15 people and they collected 6,764.2 pounds which gave them a total of 450.9 pounds per person. Team Will It Grow had 10 people and they collected 5,182 pounds, which gave them a total of 518.2 pounds per person. So the winners of this 2020 Shed Wars is actually 
Team Peacemaker, they collected 1,959 pounds and they had three people. So that gave them a total of 653 pounds per person. My goodness, this is exciting because I'm sure Team Peacemaker thinking they only had three people, they didn't have much of a chance. Well, you all did a great job. It's amazing what we can all do when we put our, our gardens together. This, is, this has been an exciting adventure, and congratulations, Team Peacemaker, and congratulations to Team Will It Grow, Team Woodcutter, and Team Over the Pond. You all did a fabulous job. family and friends so this is going to be our final shed wars uh, video for the year I want to thank all the small but mighty members of team peacemaker for everything that they've done and all that they've harvested and all their uh, camaraderie in the community also want to thank the other teams uh, and I guess I should also thank uh, Mark over at Arkansas Woodcutter and uh, John at uh, Will It Grow for starting this up as well as uh, uh, Southpaw Davey over at Team Over the Pond all the members on their team as well for you know introducing us to new gardening methods just introducing us to new people in this community of uh, like-minded growers we may disagree on other things, the way we do things, but we all agree that growing food is a benefit to our family and to our communities. So, as always, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener, representing Essiance Family Garden, saying, God bless our great country, America. Take care. Sapper out. All right, guys. Well, it's been six months since I started the uh, single seed spot experiment 2020. Platted them on 7th of March. It's, uh, the footage is all over the place. It's some's from the old camera with um, tinny audio and some's from my phone and some's from this new camera. So, as you know, with tape reveals, you don't know what you get till you tip them out. So, let's get on with it, eh? So, what will next year bring? If you don't try, you don't know. Give it a go. Don't give a toss about what the experts say. Try it anyway. Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry. And I'm Irene. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Join in the fun. Yes. Besides, we've been doing an awful lot of solar and a lot of homestead improvements and a bunch of garden cleanup and a lot of things that you'll be seeing later, but... It's yeah. nice to do something a little different. It is. And pay attention because Will It Grow, Homestead Aquarius, Frank and Tina's Adventures, and myself will be putting out videos related to Shed Wars 2. Entry is open now, November the 15th to February 15th. You're going to make a Shed Wars video and post it on Frank's community page to enter Shed Wars 2 coming up in uh, next year, 2021. Have a great day.